In today's video, I'll be giving you some tips and tricks on how to edit a music video fast. Look, I have been editing music video for the past three years now. And when I started off, my workflow was really slow. I mean, it at least took like four to five days just to finish one edit. But after three years now, I easily finish a music video VFX in just 10 hours. And I'll say all the sauce I learned throughout the years. So you don't have to. So yeah, let's just get into it. So in my screen, as you can see, I have this like chart made where I'm going to explain all the steps. So it is like really clear. So the title is how to edit fast pro tips so we're gonna straight jump into it so our first principle will be consistent fx so what i mean by this is use same type of fx throughout the music video so if you are using certain type of sake maybe you are using your own sake or maybe something from a pack don't use like different sakes every time just go with like two or three sakes and just like repeat it throughout the music video what this really does is creates consistency with your style and also saves a lot of time so you don't have to apply six every time you can just like copy the adjustment layer and you will be done so yeah make sure you are like uh, repeating the same kind of effect throughout and just not throwing in because you like and the same thing goes with transition so yeah just like uh, go with a few transition in the video and repeat it throughout and you can repeat it through all of your project people don't really care and it will actually turn into your own style so yeah the first point is done make sure you really care of this because while starting out i used to like throw on bunch of six bunch of like transition which are completely different from each other and i wasn't like able to find my own style style or my own test but after i done this like i've been editing like 3x to 4x faster and also gives my style a unique look and now moving on you can see the second point is only three to five fx throughout the whole video so yeah what i mean by this is if you go into any of my music video let me just pull that up real quick some of the music video i did so in my browser if i search up like uh, fully buyer because i worked on this video fully buyer i'm gonna show you the example live right here i hate these ads bro i hate these ads but anyways you can see if we go into the effect part uh from here it starts so throughout this music video you would see like really less unique effect in my part because i i repeated a lot of effects like i think this is one of the unique effects so one this is the unique effect i tried so two then moving forward almost every single effect is like repetition from my past projects uh as you can see it's split screen right here we also did split screen right here so yeah that builds like consistency with your style another 3d object right here we also did another 3d object around like here so yeah that is what i call consistency with fx and now if you play this whole music video it is not bad like it is like super great music video and the six and the fx are really repetitive but i guess that's what makes it my own style and makes it unique so yeah moving into the drawing board make sure you only do like three to five unique effects per video and just repeat the same type of fx you do usually now after this the second point will be filler fx this is self-explanatory so what i mean by this is flicker flashes wiggles and i will also link our entire video in the description i created on like filler fx filler fx really helps you to go through those boring parts of the song in music video there will be like few parts a part will be like full of hooks and will be a voice one what i like to do in voice it just like go with some filler effects like these like flickers wiggles and even flashes even in the intro you don't have to do much vfx to save time and also in the outro don't do much like fx if you are not getting paid much just use flicker flashes wiggles together to like add something to it i'll link an entire video in the description about this it is really important so yeah keep this in mind now let's just move on and our third point will be presets so yeah as i said presets saves a lot of time you can make your own preset the first point is that make your own preset on your own style but if you are new to after effects and don't know how to edit yet what you can do is use a pack called essential fx and transition it comes with 80 plus presets to add into your music video that's what i used on this project as well the fully buyer project i used a lot of 
uh, FX from that pack. As you can see, all of these six, all of these wiggles are from that pack itself. So yeah, I really like that pack. But if you can't afford it, just make your own presets and save it so you can use it whenever you like. Every single pro editor you see on Instagram has their own preset or uses packs like Essential FX to speed up their workflow. And for a long time, I used to make my own like six and stuff every time I edit. And it really ruined my like workflow. So it took me like four to three days to just to finish like one edit. So yeah, make sure you don't make that uh, mistake and use presets, bro. Like presets are so underrated. So even like 3D title presets, if you don't already know, I have this pack with create these like crazy 3D titles in seconds using presets. So yeah, that is really cool. So yeah, keep this in mind. As I said, if you can't afford preset yet, just like make your own and use it in your own videos. Or if you can, just go with the pack and it will make your life 10x more easier. And now moving on, the fourth point will be source cards. So this is another one really underrated one because a lot of like a lot of pro editor still don't use sort cards and it really like surprises me. It saves a lot of time and helps with the whole workflow in general. So you can see in points, I like wrote down some of the crucial sort cards you need to learn. So for adjustment layer, you can see this is the sort card for pre-comp and even like trimming the clip and stuff. So yeah, remember these or just like write it in your notes. And in the description, I'm gonna link more of these sort cards so you can like really, uh, really go into there and see what's up. I'll link more. But yeah, let me just show you a real quick example example on what i mean by sort cards is like if i go into this project right here and try to create an adjustment layer by myself what i got to do is right click go to new and go to adjustment layer and add a new adjustment layer right here but with the sort cards what you can do is just hit the start card which is alt Control y so let me just do that option Control y and you can see it adds the adjustment layer real quick and in here you can add your favorite preset and your favorite effect in here that easily so yeah shortcuts are really underrated the other one was pre-comp one so if i want to pre-comp all of these i gotta select all of these and right click go to pre-comp hit ok but with the shortcut of shift control c if i do shift control c you can see it brings this up and you can hit ok and it pre-comps it that easily so yeah shortcuts can be a lifesaver if you are not doing it already like i really highly recommend this one and moving into our fifth point stop re-watching your edits i know this is this one is really hard we as video editors what we do is watch our edits like 50 like minimum 50 times before we actually send it off to our clients even in like timelines and stuff you'll go into after effects and stare at this effect that you made for hours uh you can see i got a point right here which says add a solid of both the clips that are done editing so yeah this is a really like a simple thing you can do is if you are like done with this part so yeah suppose you are editing this music video as you can see all of these scenes and i have done the whole edit since like 12 seconds but i keep like re-watching the same effects and stuff to avoid that what i like to do is create a new solid right here or use the shortcut as i said command y to create a solid and uh just like red will be a cool one and then hit ok and just like trim it till the part you have done it so you have like done editing so you won't like go back and rewatch it and one more thing you can do is ghost this layer and turn on the ghost so you won't even see it on your timeline but you can't actually like go back and rewatch the whole edit again and again and this right here saves a lot of time this is actually a habit so if you like keep doing this you don't even need a solid and you'll lose that habit of like re-watching the same effect so yeah at the beginning this risk solid one can really help so yeah back into my free form that was the tip to like stop re-watching your own edits like this one saves hours especially in the beginning so yeah make sure to try it out now moving into our last tip or trick of the list will be plugins and extension again so previously we talked about presets now we'll talk about plugins and extension and how it can help so in points you can see these are three of my like plugins which i can't live without so one of these is fx control so if i hop into after effects again what fx control does is just like if i hit control enter in our keyboard and select a clip and hit control enter right here you can see it brings this 
box right here where i can easily search up my effect and add it so i don't have to go into my this like uh, fx library and search it right here and just drag and drop it instead you can just like use this extension to add those uh, flicker or any effect really quickly and the best part is this is actually a free plugin so yeah you can uh, download fx control for free absolutely free and now the second in the list is workflow so this is another one let me just show you so if i go into windows after installing it workflow uh this is by brian the gold and it add these type of like adjustment layers and stuff and just click and you can even like in and out points like really useful and one of the most useful feature is this comp one so if you want to pre-comp you can select all of these or uh, you can use shortcut but to save more time you can just hit use this extension and hit comp right here and it will pre-comp it for you without any hassle it also allows you to create these type of text layers and stuff solids or uh, you can even change the color of the solid by holding alt in there and you can even add nulls cameras duplicate your clips and stuff and yeah this is a really handy tool so if you want to download this i'll link it in the description uh it is actually a paid one but it is really cheap on top of that you can use my code a seam to get like five percent off it is not sponsored by brand though um, it is just like a affiliate link so i'll get a cut if you like purchase it from there so yeah you can go into the description and download this but i'm completely being honest this extension actually saves a lot of time so yeah i highly recommend this one now in the third we have flow uh this is another extension which i'm not sponsored by it is also premium but really time saver so what it basically does is if you add keyframes it will add like smooth animation so you don't have to go into graph you can add all of these animations in seconds and even like make your own like graphs and stuff in here this is one of the extension i use on daily basis this workflow and fx control are actually goaded so yeah make sure you are like implementing all of these like tips and tricks to your edit to edit more faster i saw if you can turn all of these like tips and tricks to habit it will like speed up your workflow by 10x and even 20x which is actually insane so you can even make more money editing fast editing more videos and making more money so yeah that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and you can check out my channel because i have a lot of like after fx tutorial and stuff in there so yeah if you are interested on that you can check out my channel and go through the videos but yeah anyways i'm gonna see you on the next one peace